Hello, Blake Rudis here with your On One Short Clip. And today I'm gonna to show you a finishing touch that can be extremely powerful for your photographs where you can actually direct the attention to any spot in your image. Now, of all the places that I, I like to use these radial spotlights, On One Photo Raw is my favorite because of all of the different things you can do uh, within the individual layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to effects. Now I make sure that I'm in effects when I do this because when we save this as a preset, we're going to want to make sure that only the effects settings get applied so that if you are working with your develop settings, it's not going to mess up anything. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add a filter and I'm going to add one of my favorites, which is sunshine. Now I think sunshine does a great job of really making my entire image just glow. I mean, here's the before, here's the after. It's a nice refinement tool, but sometimes it can be a little too heavy handed, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go over to the mask tool over here. I'm just going to click that little icon there and come up here to where it says gradient and change this to edges. And then I'm going to go ahead and just click anywhere on the photograph. Now what you'll see is that it's actually made a very, very large mask for uh, the center of my image. So the effect, the sunshine effect is now applied to the center area of my image and the edges are uh, blacked out. So masked out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, pull it in real tight and then grab the top and pull this in real tight. So I have more of like a light. Now watch as I move this around. I can really pinpoint a certain area that I want the viewer's attention to go to before anything else. And I'm doing that using the sunshine effect. So if I were to increase that warmth, it's going to make only that inside area warmer. I could increase that amount. I could increase the glow. I don't want to do that too much, but the beautiful part about this, and I always say this in every video that I do for on one is all the different things that you can do to the highlights, mid tones and shadows. So if I go into this gear icon, I can say, you know what, protect the shadow areas. So watch those shadow areas come back. Look at that. Maybe protect some of those mid tone areas so that this really is only affecting my highlight areas and a little bit of my mid tones. Now watch as we move this around. It's kind of like a flashlight. Look how the darks stay dark and the lights start to get brightened up a little bit. So it's very much like a flashlight and this can be used in the inverse way also. So if I wanted to save this as a preset, what I would do is I would go up to settings and I would go to save settings as preset. And right here, I would say develop settings, turn it off. We don't want it to affect the develop settings so that if you ever wanted to use this on your images, again, you could stack them. Now I'm showing you how to save this as a preset, but I'm also giving you five presets with this short clip. So let's try another way that this can be used. It's an inverse way that this can be used. This was a way to make a certain area brighter, but now let's make other areas darker. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to do it with the bleach bypass. I love the bleach bypass effect because it gives you a really nice tight nitty gritty kind of dirty looking uh, image. But again, it can be too heavy handed if it's done to the entire photograph. So if we go to our masking bug, we change this now to center instead of edges and then click anywhere. Now what happens is if we look at our mask over here on the right hand side, the center area is not going to get the effect, but the outside edges are because if we look at that mask, looking at that mask, it's showing us that the black area on the inside is not being affected by the bleach bypass and only the outside areas are. If you want to increase the feather of this, so it feathers out nice and has a nice transition, there is your feather. So if we press O to view that mask, you can see that our feather right here, we can really decide where we want that feather to be as it feathers out. Okay, so now if we press O to get back into our view, you can see that we can make our outside areas really dark. It's kind of like a vignette, but instead of it being a vignette with just black on the edges, it's increasing the contrast and it's giving us that bleach bypass sort of look. And we can change that outside bleach bypass color to any color that we want if we wanted to add a little bit of a color tint to it. Again, we can move this around and now we're directing the viewer's eye to exactly where we want them to go because this area is now brighter than the rest of the dark area. Bring this over here and now this area is brighter and the other areas are darker. So we're directing traffic in our images. So what I've done here is I've created a series of presets under the uh, category will be called spotlights. You can import that and it'll be called spotlights right here. And I'm going to go ahead and open up another image and just show you how this would look on say, 
Let's find a good one here. This photograph, perfect. So I'll open up this photo and I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on like this. Uh, I've got a series of different spotlights that I've created for you, but this one is tone related. So it's only gonna modify the tones. If you wanna modify that mask, again, click on this button that says mask and now you can move this anywhere you want. Okay, so I'll move it right up here. It's gonna increase the tones up there. If I increase the feather, everything's gonna get brighter from there on out, but that is my tone spotlight. I've also made a color spotlight. We well, turn this one on and it gives you a slight tinge of orange, but you can change this color to any color you want. So we can change this color to maybe a blue. If we wanted a blue color, it's gonna cool things down. So if it's too warm, you wanna cool it down, you can use a uh, blue spot. And then we'll go ahead and delete this one and I'll show you that we have the sunshine spot, which I already showed you, and then an antique edges, which is kind of like a vintage -y kind of border that goes around your image that would be like a vintage vignette that gives you that spotlight. Again, you wanna move it, press the mask button and move this spotlight around to direct traffic to anywhere you want on your image by making that area brighter and everything else a little bit on the uh, antique gray side. Notice how the feather is really big on this one because if we press O, the feather is huge. If we make that feather smaller, it doesn't transition quite as well. I think the feather being very big on this one works really well. Very small spot with a big feather on the outside. So use those presets. And what I encourage you to do though, is not just use the presets that I've created, but create your own presets with these radial spots in mind for things that you think would be helpful for you in your workflow. So again, my name was Blake Rudis. This was your on one short clip teaching you how to direct traffic in your images. You can tell the viewer exactly where you want them to go using this tip in this short clip.